Hello guys. Hello guys, I'm in your face again. I'm in your face again. Good to see you. How you guys doing? How you doing to my subscribers and to my new subscribers? If you just meeting me for the first time, my name is Lovet. Yes. Um, so in this video, Pastor Donnie McClurkin has something very important to say about the gospel music industry. Hmm. Yes, and you know that a lot has been happening in the past years and concerning the gospel music industry. And it doesn't call for mockery, it doesn't call for defamation. What I think it calls for as kingdom people is to, it calls for prayers, to pray for our fellow brothers and sisters who are in this industry, who are in the spotlight, to pray for them, you know. When your brother's falling, you have to pray for them. You don't mock them. You don't stop listening to their songs, you know. You just have to continue to pray for them. In one or two times, you can just go ahead to drop a message. According to what the Spirit is leading you to do. To drop a message in their emails, in their DMs, you know what Many of them are going to read it. Trust me. But let's get right into the video and hear what Pastor Johnny McClurkin has to say. If you can watch now um, the industry called gospel music today, you see that a lot of it is solely for the aggrandizement, it is for the awards, it is for the popularity. And we use gospel as, as, the, as the foundation, gospel music, but it, we're building all of this um, carnality on top of it. Who can get an award in? Who can get the, 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 the television spot and who's going to be on the televised award show and, and the like. And that becomes the goal. You go to the award shows now and you, and you, and you um, platform all of the gospel artists and all the new gospel music. And then you go to the reception afterwards and it's drinking and secular music. You got an open bar, they play nothing but secular music at a gospel award show. So this is this has become the norm because we've let down the guard. The the, 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 the the guardians have let down the standard. And now there's another standard raised where it's all according to what you think is right. And the Bible said there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end of those ways are the ways of death. So that's where we find ourselves. We're singing a great message, but we're not living a great life. Mm. So the word to those who look up to you, respect you, who uh, believe in you, that may not know the way, like you say, the generation of today, mm -hmm. so that they can, if they're on that path, what would you say to them to abort that mission? Oh, man, there's so much to say, because there's so much to institute and there's so much to dismantle. Yeah. And this generation has risen up that doesn't know God really in that sense. There's a lot to say. The first and foremost thing that I could tell anybody in the multiple generations that are underneath me is let Jesus Christ really be the Savior. Let him really be the one who sanctifies us. Let's learn what sanctification really is. Let's come out from among them and be separate from them and not touch the unclean thing. And, and he said, the truth, everybody says, you know, he, God is every, uh, we're all God's children. We're all God's children. That's not what 2 Corinthians says. He says, only when you come out from among them, and only when you're separate from them, he said, and then I will be a father to you. It's conditional. And then I will be a father to you, and then you will be my sons and daughters, because you've come out from sin. You are living like me now in holiness. So we've got to get back to holiness, live like God, and stop making excuses for the carnality that we've held onto that we wanted. That's a great message there from Pastor Dona McClurkin. I hope you picked one or two, you understand? If you, you're into gospel music or you're just a normal person, you don't sing, you don't do anything, but you go to church, even if you don't go to church yet as a Christian, but I hope you picked one or two from what Pastor said. And, you know, a lot has been really happening in the gospel music industry. Me and myself, that's why I don't really go too close to to people in the church because many times I believe in my life that way. My life is not perfect, mind you. 
for over 10 years, for over, for over 10 years, my life is not perfect. I repeat it, my life is not perfect. Yes. But when it comes to uh, listening to other uh, people music or other kind of music, I stopped listening to other kind of music for many years now. And for many years now, I stopped listening to it, and and I don't intend to go back. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that I don't hear songs like that, hip hop or something, but I don't have it in my phone. You know what I'm saying? I can hear about a great song that someone just released, and I could just go to YouTube or go to. I could just go to Apple Apple Music or Boom Play or something to just listen to the song that the person just released. But when it comes to every time something something I listen to all the time, I only listen to gospel songs all the time. So gospel musicians out there should take care that they are a mentor to a lot of people. A lot of people listen to their songs, and yes, they have a great message. For many times, just that what Pastor Donna McClarkin says, many times they don't have a great life. And you see, there's other people who sing the hip hop, the other musicians, uh, they have a great message as well in this thing. But the kind of lifestyle they're leading is not something that a child of God should believe. <laughs> you understand? So, if that kind of lifestyle is in the world, that kind of lifestyle should not be found in the church. So that is why Pastor Donald McClurkin quoted that scripture. He said, be separate from them. Be separate. You cannot be doing what the world is doing and call yourself a gospel musician. You cannot believe in the kind of lifestyle the, the world is living and call yourself a gospel musician. You cannot dress the same way the world is dressing and call yourself a gospeller. You understand? You cannot do that. You can't. No matter how, even if you call Jesus one million times in your, in your track, in your album, and your lifestyle doesn't interpret whatever your message is carrying is wrong. It's a narrow. You understand your scam and it's better instead of you to just be in the church and be a scam why not be in the world you understand because I, be I believe something that if you really wanna if you really wanna be sold out for God be sold out for God if you want to be sold out for the world be sold out for the world yeah I mean so why would I be preaching God and behind behind closed doors I'm not doing God it doesn't make any sense to me so if I want to do the word I do the word in and out nobody's gonna harm me for it nobody no if I want to do God I do God in and out nobody is gonna hold me for it nobody so I don't believe in leaving your life of uh, you know just leaving this kind of shady lives no whatever you want to do do it with your full chest like yeah let everybody see it so if you maybe you started with gospel song and you're no longer feeling god you can drop it off you understand don't be a scam and we just gonna keep praying for you because we know <laughs> excuse me we know that this race is not easy it's not for the faint-hearted yes the gospel journey is not for the faint-hearted. So it is not every time that uh, you hear Christians is going to be telling you soft words that God is going to help you. No. If you know you're tired of God, you better drop the bath in. Yeah. Drop that bath in down. If you're tired of God, drop it down. And go to the Word. Not every time we're going to console you. Not every time. There were times when Jesus Christ spoke with kind words. And there were times where it's like, you see what? You know what? <laughs> Y'all better get out of here. So, 